Italian design is absolutely freaking gorgeous. They are just so attuned to all of the different textures, all of the different colors, the layering of materials. For example, you could take a white room and you could easily decorate it all white, not in Italian design. With one of my favorite interior designers, I will link him below, but he will take a full red curtain, full red couch, matching and in one room in another room that is also white do like full green curtain green chair or a coral um, curtain with a coral based um, piece of art in a bathroom and I'm just freaking blown away by the full thought and scheme that has gone into the color theory behind those homes that's what I'm getting at here is like the pure understanding of color theory by Italian interior designers. And we just see it like all over their work. So another one that I just love, I just love, and it's like my biggest influence right now or ever is Demor Studio. And they have so many moody, gorgeous spaces that evoke a really, really sexy space. And it is so comforting to look at pictures of these spaces and feel like transported to another place in time. I don't know about you, but it's kind of like great restaurant design where I will go to an incredible restaurant. Um, and it, when I say incredible restaurant, I mean like an incredible design restaurant. I mean, it's kind of half the fun. So, I feel totally transported because of that experience. And it's because this incredible design team came in and the designers made selections that evoke a certain mood. And Italian designers aren't afraid to take risks in their homes that they design. So I am just blown away. I love everything that is like verging on slightly gaudy, but somehow has enough restraint to make you marvel. I wanna point out several point paint colors that I see being used throughout Italian design that differs from other interior design styles. There was a point in time where people were not afraid to paint their walls red um, or yellow. And we have slowly become more and more stoic or Scandinavian in Italian design, color is not just an accent, it is the whole scheme for the home. Finally, with Italian design, I see a ton of attention to leather, marble, and upholstery. All things I love so deeply and just make me so happy. And it's attention to detail. It's the good stuff. It's full of pleasure and we shouldn't be afraid of it. The world is your oyster. That is the emotion that is exuded from these spaces. Italian designers are not afraid of taking like really compact spaces and making them special or really grand spaces and making them feel cozy and compact. So with that today, um, I am going to stop us because I am running out of light and it's been lovely connecting. I will see you next time.